Hello, friends. Hello. How are you, everybody? How are you all doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. And yourself? Oh, great. Yeah. Glad. Glad I'm talking to you. There's Brett's here, too. Lauren's oh. here. There are people here. This Zoo Adventures? Yes. Hi, everybody. Ooh. All of our digital friends. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Zoo Adventures today. Really fun and, and crazy different episode today. Yes. We are in an area that I don't normally get to, which we're not talking about bees, but we do have beehives behind us, which is pretty neat. We had to say hi to them so we didn't get yes, stung. Yes, we did. We did have to say hi to the bees. So um, before we get started, though, oh, who sorry. are we? Uh, Steve. Not Leslie. In front of the and uh, what? Brett. 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 Hello. And we have another person going to be visiting with us today, right, too? Yeah, we're looking for Betsy. Betsy? Yeah. Brett, can you find Betsy? Where's Betsy? Betsy. Let's go find Betsy. Betsy, Betsy, Betsy where are you, Betsy? There she is. Although she can't say hi to us because she has that microphone. She's beckoning us over. Betsying us over. Betsying us over. Nice. <laughs> so, Betsy, you said, I want to show you something. Please come to this point today. <laughs> what are we doing here, Betsy? We are surveying turtles today. Turtles? Aquatic turtles. Sweet. Yep. And what's in the box? What's in the box? So, I caught one in one trap this morning, and I caught a common snapping turtle. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Brett, show them. Holy cow. That's a pretty nice size that's a snapping oh, turtle they're snappers and they yeah. snap mm -hmm. yes very. well that okay so you have a so you now. So I, I just finished with this one i'm gonna let oh. him go and then i have another <gasps> trap to check later so if you want to oh you do and check with me yep should we check the next trap too all right brett thanks all right betsy do all your right. thing we'll stand so behind you because i'm not gonna go into the water go, oh brett you go go you go closer we're not going to go closer <laughs> leslie and i will stay back here well, that's kind of cool. Watch safely from afar. We'll watch safely from afar. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I see Betsy is, uh, you know, not getting She's her not hands anywhere it, huh? near <laughs> nope. that snapper's face. I think I don't mind being in front of the camera today <laughs> because I don't have to be on that side of the camera. <laughs> not ready to go back yet. <laughs> Are you ready for your close up, apparently, Mr. Snapper? <laughs> Well, you know, that's okay. All right, maybe we gotta get him a little closer to the water. He didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, right. look how strong. Holy cow. And that's talking about you, Betsy. <laughs> Both, really. How neat. Look at perfect the timing, water. right? That was nice. That was good timing. Bye, Snapper friend. What's his name? Snappy. Snappy. Oh, look at Snappy go. Snap bracelet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is so I'm cool. making myself laugh over here. Brett, are you getting a good shot? That's so neat. Brett's, Brett's nodding her head. You guys can't, you can't, you can't hear her nodding, but she's nodding. <laughs> awesome. That is so cool. That was so much fun, Betsy. Thank you so much. And you said you have another trap to check? I do, yeah. All right, let's, let's go, go check, check that out. Awesome. Let's go. That's the trap. This is the trap. So this is called a hoop trap. Hoop. Um, Oop. This is the most common way to catch turtles. Oh, it is. It is. Nice. Um, and so it's kind of like a big minnow trap. So basically, there's a an opening on one end. Okay. okay? So over here. Oh, they go, they swim through that. So a turtle will swim in here, well, how come and they then can't, out? can't find its way out. Why? But why do you think a turtle would swim in there? <laughs> yeah, that's my question. Place to hide. Uh, well, it can be, but usually it's, it's because kind of, of the bait that I put in it. So over here, I have a can of sardines that I throw in there. So you have I a can just, of what? Uh, that's sardines. what that smell was. Yep. Yeah, smell that? I was no. starting to be like, do I? Smell-o-vision mm. camera. I you can smell that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is pungent. Yeah, so turtles can smell this from way down the lake. So and I they, do. They come swimming over to, to, you know, see what is that? And they try and find it and they get in the trap and then they catch them. You've got to take it a little closer. Look at, the, it's in soybean oil. Of course it is. Soybean oil? Crazy. All right, so the turtle swims in. You didn't believe me, did you? You had to look for yourself. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you put the sardines in there in the can. So mm -hmm. now it's the smell, I guess it's, it's what's attracting the turtle. And then you take the trap and you pitch the trap into the water. That's right. Should we do it? So That's random simple. question. Oh. Is is the reason that it's only slightly open is so all the sardines don't fall out basically. So it kind of right, yeah. So, okay. so it keeps smelling. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, one turtle would come in and eat all the sardines. Right, and then catch it... anymore. So makes sense. Oh, you might catch more than one turtle at a time. I can. Yep. Oh, yep. really? Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. cool. Yep. 
I've caught right. uh, like ten at a time. What? One time. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Ten at a time. Can we like put it in the water and see if we get anything? Yeah, let's do it. Yay! Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna throw the sardines in first. Go sardines! All right. Oh, I'm standing on. Why? I'm, what's this rope? Oh, I forgot to mention that. There's a rope that's tied on the end. And I tie this to a tree over there. And also a big turtle can't swim away with the trap. So uh, <laughs> turtles need to breathe. And we want to make sure that some of the trap is above water so that they're able to keep oh. breathing. That's really important. Well, yes. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know. Right. Brad, are you ready? Mm-hmm. I got to come down on the rocks sort of with this is not this is not safe for Steve. You're going to get your pants all wet. <laughs> Good thing I got these waders on. True. She is prepared. It's like she does this. Wow. I was, uh, all right. For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be like the, the big toss. <laughs> but then I, <laughs> you know. Like so. a big seine net. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, she's going to throw that thing? <laughs> that would have been kind of, you need to come up with a new trap design. <laughs> it right. does its job. So, uh, I probably question our digital friends, why not? How long will it take? Uh, in just a couple of hours, we might find a turtle. Really? <laughs> yep. So, so stay tuned. It'll just be a couple hours. A couple hours later. Woo! So you were right. And now we're back. Now what do we do? All right. So we're going to check the trap. But I can tell from here that there's a turtle in there. How do you tell? Yeah, how? Because uh, I can right? see the trap moving a little bit from the turtle, you know, shaking okay. the trap just a little bit. If it's a bigger turtle, sometimes it shakes a lot. You can see big ripples out on the lake. But... I think we're, we're going to trust her on this one. Yeah, but this one's just moving a little bit. So okay. This one's probably not a big snapper. I'm guessing it, it might be something smaller. Okay. So okay, well. Let's go check. Do your thing. Going back with the waders. Don't fall. Uh, speak for your... Take your own advice, Steve. <laughs> not everybody knows here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. Ah. We did? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I'll get out of your way. Do I, can I do anything? You do this whole time by yourself. I guess you don't need help. I got it. You don't need help. Oh, rope is stuck. Rope is stuck. Oh, I can do rope. Nope. Don't okay. I, need, I don't need to do that. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. You got it. one. All right. So we got one. Look at that. All right. And you've got it. Going for those sardines. Yep. It was right close, wasn't it? All right. So I can just reach inside and make sure I get it. Wait, so you would do that with a snapping turtle too? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Whew, I was well, going to say. A snapping it. turtle, I have to be very careful that I don't go anywhere near its mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's this one's still giving you, uh, like, yeah. even though it's not a snapper, still that has that yeah. mouth open. I, ready, any turtle so. can bite. Right. Pretty hard. I mean, it would hurt if I if it bit me. Wow. But I probably wouldn't lose my finger like I would if it was a snapping turtle. <laughs> can I get a close up of the turtle? <gasps> it's so beautiful. And this is a. This is a yellow bellied slider. Yellow bellied <laughs> slider. What How a beautiful cute. animal. Oh, yep, so they got their name by, they like to bask in the sun on the shore or on a log. And if you scare them, they slide into the water. So oh. it's a slider. Sounds like Brett. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now what? Yeah, what do right. we do? All right, so the first thing you do is I figure out what species it is. So okay. you know that. Yellow belly slider, we yep. got it. And next I want to know if it's a male or a female. Okay. And so there's a couple of ways to tell. Uh, the first is by the claws. So these claws look pretty short or really long. <laughs> uh, I don't know because that I'm paying hard, attention yeah. to the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. I mean, they looked. They didn't look real long. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're like yeah. long, but I wouldn't say real long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. So this, they're pretty oh, short, right, and that's a. So that means it's a female. Okay. Oh, short claws, female. Yep. And a female also has a pretty flat. So the bottom of their shell is called a plastron. Yep. And so they're pretty flat on the bottom, whereas a male would be curved. She's not very happy no. with you anyway. Right? No. <laughs> and the other way is by their tail. So females have a shorter tail. Okay. Um, it's hard to tell right now because she's got it tucked up in her yeah. shell. But if it was a male, it would be a Brett's lot good longer. On Brett can Almost twice that long. Whoop. She's slippery. So she knows what she's doing. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that's step one. Now we know okay. it's a yellow-bellied slider. Yep. Female. It's we know a female. it's a female because of the short claws, the the flat plastron, and the smaller tail. Nice, the small, nice. shorter tail. That's right. Okay. So next, we want to know how big she is. She's okay. this big. Is that good <laughs> we enough? Know... Do we just guess? 
Is nope, I brought my equipment along, so I have a scale Whoa. and a caliper. So let's go measure her. Science tools! In the but, shade. <laughs> let, how about let's guess before, though, see if we, how, who's closest, Ooh. right? Digital friends, throw some uh, some weights and some <laughs> sizes in the chat, see what we... That's a great idea. I'm going to say... 3.8 pounds. Do we do it pounds or grams? Uh, I measure in grams. Okay, well but, then but convert, we convert that to grams. grams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a scientist, so we use the metric system. Yeah, it's How long? System, How long? <laughs> which makes the most sense. Um, what okay. do you, I, actually, we should find out, I guess we find out, what do you, what do you measure in length? Is it just a shell, head, tail? What uh, you... So I measure the length of the carapace, which is the top of the shell. Okay. And then I also measure the length of the plaster on oh. the bottom. And then the width of the whole turtle, which okay. is easier to measure from the bottom than the top. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So what should we do first? Um, you pick. Wait, because wait, yeah, we have to guess. Okay. Right. Yeah, see how close right. Leslie is. Okay. All right. So I've just got a digital scale here, like the one you might use in your kitchen. Yep. So I'm going to turn that on. Why is the can there? And the can is to help measure a turtle. So, oh. Like you can see with this one. Wait a second. Yeah, they, they did that when we had um, in the vet hospital when we measured our turtles. That's right, that's right, that's right. Very cool. So they put Same them on thing. so they Sorry. can't really move. Little connections yeah. we're making. Yeah. You know, if I put the turtle just on the scale without Brrr. the can, what do you think would happen? Brrr. 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 You're going to jump right. off the side. It would run away. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, turtle. But if you put, put it on the can. Can't get any traction on anything. There you go. She can't go anywhere. So, 1,297 grams. Right. Divided by 2.2 .2 equals six and change. Let me get my uh, 1,297 divided by six. By 2.2? .2? Is, is that right? 2.2? .2? Or is that the other direction? Yeah, kilos. Yeah, I'm with the direction. I'm with the yeah. wrong direction. I'm going to ask the internet. <laughs> I'm going to ask the internet because clearly we can't do this. <laughs> I, hopefully somebody in the chat is like, you sillies, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> help us out, guys. We need some help. Grams to pounds. Well, it would be about 1.3 kilos, which would be 2.3 times 2. Yeah, there you so go. 2.6. 2.8. 2.6 pounds. This says 2.85. Okay. okay. Close. So close. you were pretty close. <gasps> yeah. That was about a, pa or, yeah, a pound bad. off. Not bad. There you go. All right. Okay, so now, now we got our weight. Good job. Thank you. We can do math. All right. Sort of. <laughs> no. no. Internet can do the math. The internet can do math. <laughs> All right. But well, thanks. that's kind of cool. Thanks for having faith in me. <laughs> and I'm going nine inches from, you know, on the carapace. All right. Well, we measure in millimeters, so we're right, going to yeah. do the nine, conversion. Wait a minute. Nine. I'm going to say 253 millimeters. That's what I'm going to say. No. What do you think? Hundred, there's a hundred millimeters in a centimeter, two centimeters in an inch. I mean, inch. I just read where right, it was off that. That's all. So, math. 199. Oh. Not yeah, bad. Not. not bad. And that's that many inches. <laughs> all right. So, that was the plaster. 199. Or, sorry, the carapace length. Let's do the Thank plaster you. on next. And the plaster on is the belly, the belly shell. Yep. And is this kind of the behavior you normally get? Kind of that once they're, once they're out of the water, it's like, okay, I'm going to stay safe. Yeah, it is. I mean, a snapping turtle will try and bite you. Well, yeah, yeah but, because um, the sliders are generally pretty docile. Okay, cool. Uh, they might try to kick and scratch, but once they realize they can't, like when that was on the can, then, you know, they just kind of yeah, calm down. Calm, yeah. Calm back down. Mm -hmm. So, um, 199 millimeters is about 7.8 inches. Thank you for that. So, mm -hmm. I'm off by an inch and a little bit. All right. So, the plaster on length is 187. 187. So, so pretty close. Yeah. yeah. A little smaller, but not much. Nice. And the width of the whole turtle. So, we want to do it the widest part of the turtle is 152 millimeters. All right. So definitely oblong in shape. When yep. we, and we can definitely see that. Longer than wider. Mm -hmm. And we see that. Okay, cool. So, Betsy, my question is why? Why are we doing all of this? Mm. Why are you getting turtles and measuring them and weighing them? What's, what's the end game here? <laughs> so, as a wildlife biologist for the zoo, my job is to find out what kind of animals we have and make sure that we're taking good care of them. Um, and I know a lot of our guests do see turtles, especially out on the boardwalk, um, by the North yeah, America Lake true. where we are oh, here yeah, now. For sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but a lot of them are more, are shyer. We don't see them. So by using the trap, I can figure out what kind of turtles we have, how many there are, how good their populations are doing. Yeah. And if I do this every year, then I can you know keep track of that and oh, see am I catching more turtles over time or less. Nice. Mm -hmm. And totally, I mean, not quite non-invasive, but pretty close to non-invasive. You're not doing anything to the turtles per se. Right. Nice. Yep. Yeah, so after after you get all this information, I'm assuming you just then put it right back in, right? Is that uh, okay? Yep. And then I just let it go. <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So this is this is this lady is this lady right? Jump, this lady. <laughs> yep. Is she's, all done. She's all done. Ready cool. to go back in. <laughs> all right. She is ready. She is. She, she <laughs> is ready. <laughs> Brett, you want to follow? Yes. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Another wonderful release. So we caught you releasing the big snapper first. We got to see the whole process. That was amazing. Um, I'm thinking that the slider is going to go real fast. You think so? All <laughs> I right. do. Remember I'm going to go slider, opposite. They can just go straight in. I'm going right? to say nope. I'm going to say the slider is going to stop and say, "What are you guys doing around here?" I don't think the slider is going to do anything. I'm free. <laughs> Nobody's, it really nobody's looked measuring like, me. It really looked like it was going to go real fast at first. Nobody's measuring me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Slider. How fun. Oh, I love watching. What a great shot. I love watching them swim. And there's fish in there. Wow. How'd you do, Brett, on that one? Was that good? Eh, Brett, gave, <laughs> Brett gave us the eh. <laughs> Awesome. I'm sure Very it's cool. Well, Betsy, thank you so much for letting us come out today. Everybody You're say welcome. hi. Digital friends, say thank you to Thanks Betsy. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> and we're going to be with you a little bit longer, right? We've got yep. one more place to go. Can you guys hang, hang tight? So, Betsy, turtles was one thing. Right. Where are we now? We're very far from turtles. We're definitely. <laughs> we're not at the lake anymore. No. We are standing in an old girl's longleaf pine forest. You can see that. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So this is the Nichols Preserve, which okay. is owned by the zoo. Oh, so the zoo owns this. Mm -hmm. Why does the zoo own well, that's a great this question. track of land? What is there something important about it? There is. Okay. This piece of land is very special. So. Longleaf pine forests um, have declined by a lot. Only 2% of all the longleaf pine that used to be here in the U.S. is currently here. Whoa. So 98% of it is totally gone. So we've done this before with our digital friends. So if there were hundreds of this, only two of this survives. That's wow. Wow. 2%? Yep. That's awesome. And not only that, but this is an old growth forest. So some of these trees are oh. really old. Oh, old how growth. old is yep. it? Nice. So, <laughs> the oldest trees are about 250 years old. Whoa, that's older than you. That's older than all of us, hopefully. And you. Oh, and me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably put together. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, amazing. Is that this tree? Yes. So, this right here is that's a longleaf pine. Okay, okay. And this is one of the biggest <laughs> ones that we have on the property. <gasps> Oh, it is really? It is. So this one's about 100 years old. Wow. Yep. 100 wow. years old. Think of the stories this tree could tell. Digital friends, think of the stories. And think of the world, what the world was like 100 years ago. When yeah, so different. Growing. Very, yeah. very different for oh, sure. Oh. So not always, you're saying there's one that's older than this. So not always biggest means oldest. That's right. Okay. Oh, it, de it depends on the soil and the sunlight. And oh, so okay. where it is. Um, yeah. yeah. Some trees may grow bigger in a different place. Gotcha. Some, some trees won't. So that is amazing. One of the biggest, but not necessarily the oldest. It's flaking like off on you. Fire. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> what is going on here? Brett, can you come get this? It's very interesting. Did it really catch fire? It did. Many times. Oh, really? <laughs> Yep. On purpose? So <laughs> one of the, what, what keeps a longleaf forest being a longleaf pine forest um, is fire. So oh, oh, yeah, it needs to burn every couple of years for it to be in a healthy condition. Okay. Yep. So do you, I've heard of these prescribed burns before. Do you come and oh, do yeah. that here? Yes, okay. uh, we do. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Mm. So about every two years, um, we are burning this forest. And so it's, us it's our partners with the North Carolina Forest Service that are helping us out okay. with the Thanks burns on this, pro on this property because it's so big. Why is burning so important to the longleaf pine? Mm. 
So a healthy longleaf pine forest is basically all the overstory trees. So the big trees you see should all be longleaf pines. Okay. And the understory, so the, the forest floor, should be mostly grasses and um, oh. herbaceous plants. So okay. not not like woody trees and shrubs and things like that. Oh, okay. And so for about 100 years before the zoo owned the property, it hadn't been burned. So it's in kind of a degraded condition. Oh, no. So, oh, no. When the zoo acquired this property about 10 years ago, our mission was to restore it and okay. to get it into good condition again. And so one of the things that we started doing is burning it again. So it hadn't been burned for 100 years, but now wow. we're burning it every two years or so. So is that why the trees behind this one? I bet Brett, with, with his massive, with amazing skills, Brett has. <laughs> she can show. So a lot of those trees have those burned bottoms, kind of the burned scars on the bottom of them. Is that right, Betsy? That's right. Yep. So those are burned scars. Yep, and the trees are adapted to it. They need fire, oh, and so so it's very rare for fire to kill a longleaf pine. Is this? I've heard this before. So correct me if I'm wrong. So a lot of the like trees that need fire is because like the cone, the pine cones won't open unless there's like fire, and that's so oh, does that open that's where up? the seeds come. So that it does help. Okay, and, yeah. they, and they also need um, pretty much bare ground to germinate. Oh, okay. So if there's a lot of leaves on the ground, um, a pine's not going to grow there. And so that's why we don't have a lot of baby pines here because there was um, such a thick layer of, of leaf litter for so yeah. many years. So I was going to say, they all look mature. All the mm -hmm. trees here do look which way they look like yep. they're adults. But we should see smaller ones, and we don't. Oh. We don't see them. So but but we goals. will. Yep. In the goals. future, we Very should see cool. that. Very cool. So we're trying to burn off kind of like the, the brush that's really not supposed to be here so that then pine cone right there so then that the yeah. seeds can can get into the ground and create more trees instead of just having these old ones that's um, right we need more younger ones too yep. and i saw something you said that these trees are adapted to the fire which is cool that tree what happened do, to that, that tree? tree didn't do so well that is, not, <laughs> yep. that is uh, some kind of a hardwood tree and they're not adapted to fire so when a fire goes through they're a lot more likely to die gotcha and that's why in a healthy longleaf pine forest, you wouldn't see many hardwood trees because they're killed when they're very small. So they never oh. grow to be a large tree. So the fire prevent this prevents tree them from, from growing. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Wow. Leslie. Steve. Amazing, cool place. Yeah. it's This is one of my favorite places. I don't get to come here very often because we're, we're like 20, 25 minutes away from actual zoo grounds, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but it is when we get to come here, it's just like, it's... Such an amazing um, ecosystem habitat yeah, yeah. type thing. So, um, when we were kind of coming out, of course, we kind of set these up a little bit. Le Leslie, you were asking, are there any kind of other critters out here? Yeah, actually, um, so I'm doing surveys out here. Okay. And I also have oh, some trail cameras that are set up <gasps> so that I can see what kind of animals are here when I'm not here. You could have told us that before we came. <laughs> well, sounds like we should do another Zoo Adventures with Betsy about that. What do you think out there, friends? Want to come back? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think maybe we can show some of the camera trap videos. Do you have some like videos? Or something? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to show you. Let's make that happen. Next time. Mm -hmm. I feel really we'll make tall. It happen. I mean, you already are, but. I feel like I'm in the wrong space. Now you're taller. <laughs> i got to put my spot in the wrong space. Well, amazing. So, yes. yeah, we wanted to introduce one of the spaces outside of the zoo that the zoo kind of manages. Is that a fair way to say it? We manage mm -hmm. this space mm -hmm. yep. um, to you all. Realize that we're going to come back um, because it's kind of neat to get out of the park. And, and to show you the zoo cares, not just about the animals that are under our care, but about the wildlife and wild spaces beyond yeah. the zoo itself. So yep. Thank you for that. Yeah, and as we create better habitat here, um, it should be better for wildlife as well. So oh, really? when okay. the forest is healthier, we'll have healthier wildlife populations too. I love it. Mm -hmm. so You're so important. <laughs> Yay, Betsy. Everybody clap for Betsy. <laughs> Good deal. And you won't mind us coming out again? I would love for you to come back. Very anytime. Cool. You're we're welcome so anytime. about that, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to do that, I think so. So let's go ahead and wrap up. I think this was really cool. And let's, there's no reason to go anywhere else. Let's conclude. Until next time, right? Until next time. TV or <laughs> dot, 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 cliffhanger. Your Zoo Adventures <laughs> team today. Who are you? Leslie. Who are you? Betsy. Steve. Brett. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, did you all hear that? <laughs> Thank you all so very much for tuning in today, your Zoo Adventures team on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe. Bye, everybody. Bye.